seat. This is the gathering annually of all of the representatives, ministerial and lay, of the churches of the northeast section of the state of Indiana. They come to make reports on what has happened in the work in the last year, to formulate the report, the program for the next year, and to authorize it. This is the time when we retire ministers, for example, who have reached the age of retirement and requested it. It's the time when we authorize young men, receive young men into the ministry on trial, and also ordain them. So that it's the annual gathering of the church for reports and for setting the program for the coming year. I wonder if we could get your view. We hear a lot about the moral decay in the country, or so-called moral decay. What is your view on this, the country's moral fiber? Well, I think the country's moral fiber is still sound. I think we have so many changes facing us as a nation, and we have so many terrible events recently, such as the assassination of Martin Luther King and the assassination of Robert Kennedy, that these, uh, while they, I do not think, show a deterioration in the moral fiber of America, nor do I think they ought to be associated with guilt for all the 200 million Americans. I think they're isolated, terrible events, but do not represent in themselves a, a great moral decay. I do believe, however, that uh, democracy rests on the solid foundation of moral structure, moral character, and here we always need to be on our guard. And I think the standards are flexible and are fluctuating, and we need to be careful to train the consciences of our people uh, to responsible living, and that this always is a, a thing that we should concern ourselves and about which uh, we should be careful. Uh, you uh, don't think, as some do, that the deaths of Martin Luther King and the Kennedy brothers should be on the conscience of Americans? Not specifically. I think uh, it should be on my conscience to ask, is there anything I should have done across the years to make race relations better if this lay back of the assassination? I don't know that it did. But instead of indicting America, I think we should indict ourselves personally. Say, is there anything I ought to have done, anything I ought to do now to improve the moral character of my country? Have any of my acts or any of my omissions in, deci in decisions and in action caused the country to have this kind of, of tragic event? And if so, we ought to assume that guilt and we ought to repent of it and, uh, and improve.